Okay, so now that we've got our report page set up, now we, what we really wanna do is we, we need better colors here. And so what's been recently introduced in the early part of 2017 is color themes. Now I'm gonna show you how you can uh, import color themes. Now this may change by the time you actually um, you actually listen to this uh, this, this training, um, but uh, and I'm sure that will be made far better because it is a bit of a uh, it is a roundabout way in, 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 in how you actually achieve uh, themes in Power BI at the moment. So hopefully they'll make this far more intuitive, far more straightforward to do. But there, this is the way you do it currently. So you first of all have to uh, find some colors. Obviously, we want to create a theme that uh, that will look good in this report. And so I'm going to, uh, so if you look at these colors, I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these colors at all. And this color palette in general is, is no good, not good at all. We wanna, we wanna make, we wanna actually utilize some of the themes in Excel, because the themes in Excel have been tried and tested for, 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 for decades um, and, and, are, and are relatively straightforward to, uh, to find. Now, you'll need two things. The first thing you'll need here is you will need to go and find the uh, Excel color theme creator or hex value creator, which is available on the Enterprise DNA website. So if we jump to the Enterprise DNA website, you'll see that there's a section called resources up here. So if we jump to resources, you will find a number of different Power BI models that you can download. I will show you a number of different techniques, but also you have uh, a Power BI color theme creator. So if you uh, grab this download, you'll receive a download which will create a, a, a range of different hex values that you can utilize uh, to create a color theme in Power BI. So I'm gonna grab this color theme um, just from my own computer here. So this is just, uh, this color theme is just opened. So if we wanna change the theme color here, the way we do that is uh, on, on the home page of this model, we, we grab the, uh, we go to the page layout ribbon and we can change the color here. So we can select a different color. So say for instance, we wanna go, we wanna actually go with green yellow here for, for example. So once I make that selection, I can confirm the theme and then I can go free, uh, I'll just call it free training demo like so. And then once that theme has been cre created, you'll get a pop-up box which says uh, theme values created. And then if we go okay, you'll see that now these values are actually hard coded and we can now use these hex values uh, in, in, our, um, in our file, in our notepad to create the color theme in Power BI. So if I just bring up my notepad again, you'll see that we need to utilize these hex values here, 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 so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change those values to these new ones, and uh, we will then upload this into Power BI. So I'm going to grab the, the themes like so, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy them into our model. I'm just gonna leave these bottom ones as is. But then what you have to do is you have to make sure when you go save as, that you save this as a JSON file. So I'm gonna call this color theme JSON, and then I'm going to go save. And then now if I come up into my model here, and then I go import theme, then I need to select that JSON file which we just saved. And all of our visualizations will now uh, will now be in our uh, new theme. Now, obviously it's selected a color which is not, not a good color, and we need to make a change. So there's a few things that we can change here, but now the great thing is, is that we don't have to go and retrieve all these custom hex values for every single color we wanna change. We now have a palette which allows us to change them quite easily. So now we have a nice looking palette here. I can change these two colors that actually, uh, that actually look nice together. So I can just run through, I can change them to um, 
like so, and it's starting to look a lot nicer. This one doesn't look any good, so um, we might have to change some individual colors here. So I might just, just run down the list and make sure these are, and that's starting to look a little bit better. What we can also do is we can change these values into a color which also works with the theme. So I like to do a really dark color uh, for that, or actually one, one less than that. And then in my category label, I like to make it the darkest so it stands out. And so we have the makings of something that's, that's starting to look um, more compelling than if we use the standard colors. We can also change this background up just slightly. So potentially we might want to actually make this a, a really light uh, light gray, but that's actually the same color as uh, as our um, as our boxes here, which are our grids here. So I'm also going to change the grids as well, and I'll show you what I do with my grids to make them work a little bit better with the theme. So now that we actually have the theme in here, what I can do is I can grab one of the the theme colors like so, and I can turn this. I can make this 80 percent. 80% transparent, and then it actually that color actually works in well with the uh, with the theme because we're actually selecting it from the theme. So hopefully that uh, you can see that, that actually starts making things look a little bit better. Um, you, you could probably make it look better than this, honestly, um, but this is just how uh, we've done it in this in this example.